what's up y'all i'm getting ready for an interview so um i am pulling up my email and it's in one minute actually so i hope it goes well i have my resume up what i didn't do and what i wish i would have done was um printed my resume that way i would have it beside me but it's okay i just pray lord just be with me um i wanted to look at my five strengths from clifton and just kind of refresh that to speak to that as far as you know tell me a little bit about yourself um <clears throat> So, Lord, just flow, please. Please, Lord. <clears throat> Hi, how are you? <laughs> actually at this point is fine with me and it was more so of a generalist role Some time off to reflect i'm also finishing up my doctorate degree so just taking that time away to focus more on my education um thankfully i am done with my coursework <laughs> So um, just working on the dissertation piece, which is not as time consuming as the coursework. Um, so now I'm just ready to get back in the work field with my skills and um, just apply that to a, a organization where I can grow and contribute to with those skills. I don't know what it is about these, but I really love these. I bought a pack of five, the AGB. And um, it's the turkey, Colby, Jack, and almonds variation. I don't like the others. I only get this variation. And it's all funny because um, I had an ex from a while back that used to get these. And I was like, ew. But baby, around that time of Hurricane Burrow, I've been hooked. And... I sandwich it, sandwich, you heard me right, sandwich it. I'll get um, cheese and an almond, and I'll grab a piece of turkey meat, put it all together, put it all together. I just got done with the interview, if you will, for a placement agency, so. They liked my resume, they liked our connection, and hopefully they will be sending me on to a potential employer. Please, Lord. It's hybrid. I really want a remote job, but I need a job. <laughs> so hybrid is fine with me. It is for an HR role that I would like to expound in. So... It's the Lord's will. I trust it. Prayerfully. I'm about to hop on a coaching mentoring call. He is doing this for people who want to have a career in co career coaching or a side hustle in coaching. Low cost online course. <laughs> so in addition to the one on one coaching that I offered. <laughs> something about that question though real quick and research for a matter you're looking at the gaps in the research would that be a good approach to coaching as well there are a lot of people that are coaching but there are yeah. gaps that i see that i'm like this is probably my niche however i don't think it's popular or something that people would want to pay so like 
Mm. You know, sharing a scenario where I've done something that worked for me in this matter, just pushing out that that importance, that gap that I see. Is that something that could be done as far as cultivating my own coaching practice or do you have any thoughts towards that? I hope that made sense. <laughs> You are the definition of innovation and transformation. Because like <laughs> the way that you have transformed your office and just how you have a niche and a knack for just finding things and just making it anew is amazing to me. Cause yeah, I'll be like, I'm not creative like that. I'll see it and I'll be like, well, that's what it is. <laughs> and I don't know how to like transform <laughs> it. I'm just not good at DIY. I feel like you are a beast at DIY. You just gotta do it. You, you just know? gotta you do just... it. You, it doesn't cost anything to start something. It doesn't, um, but it costs if you never start, and it could have been something amazing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that hit me that too. It's like, okay. The yeah. No, that's, 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 um, ah. that's well put. That's well put. That's a good realization. That <laughs> it's like, and then I was going to say too. Uh, just how I immediately went off to, you know, network and da 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 Everything doesn't have to be monetized. Everything doesn't have to be shown. Like some stuff can just still remain yeah. a hobby so that you can have that pure love and desire for it. When you start to monetize it, sometimes it can just become a task and it's no longer just an enjoyment or, you know, a hobby. Mm -hmm. It's a chore and it's like, bruh, I have enough chores. That's right. I, exactly. <laughs> oh, I love that.